got a little uh, musical uh, background uh, music going on here, so I'm going to wrap up uh, the uh, spin off. And again, uh, spinning uh, the center line, this technique uh, also works well with a handgun. Uh, if we have worked on a uh, drawing while moving and immediately shooting as we present the weapon, uh, those 21 foot rule idiots uh, will be in for a big surprise when they see how easily a handgun beats a knife at uh, very close quarters. Uh, again, if you practice uh, drawing a weapon, you should be able to do that uh, relatively quickly. And again, you can see with these uh, two steps, you know, this guy starts pulling that knife out on you. And uh, you step and spin the center line off the side of him. Now he's going to have to turn, even though he's only three feet away from you. And in that amount of time, surely you will be able to uh, unconceal and uh, present a weapon up to him, the guy. And as he comes in for that second lunge, or uh, it, it may be a first lunge in some guys' cases, uh, you're going to uh, present uh, extra holes in his head for him. And uh, at that kind of range, it'll be uh, tough for even the biggest idiot to uh, miss a headshot. Uh, so again, uh, this is a way to uh, increase your uh, stopping power uh, is by uh, you know, putting shots in the right place against a guy who he thinks he has a knife and he knows you have a gun. And because he's watched uh, the Bug Out Guys videos too much, he thinks he's at some kind of a uh, uh, mystical advantage. Uh, the Bug Out Guy. Now there's a guy who probably played some, uh, what was that game I was talking about? Dungeons and Dragons uh, when he was younger. And maybe now him and his instructor uh, still do play that game because uh, they certainly are living in a fantasy world. Uh, but anyways, uh, I digress. I live in a fantasy world also. But some people, hell is not a fantasy. Uh, so uh, tool or drill, tool or drill. Again, the tool or drill is the tool or drill. Uh, the 21 foot rule is something some idiots made up. Uh, if you don't believe me, uh, look up Dennis Tuller uh, on the internet and read some of his uh, articles, especially his uh, more recent article. Now that his uh, drill has become famous. Uh, and he specifically says uh, there's no 21 foot rule. Uh, and he says that that just happened to correspond with the distance the average person can travel in the same amount of time it takes the average person to uh, draw and present their weapon and fire a shot. That's all 21 means. It's not a mythical thing. Oh, 21 feet, a guy with a knife will always win. No, 21 feet is how far the average person can travel while running which correlates to the same amount of time it takes the average person to draw and shoot. And again, the average person, not somebody who's trained, not somebody who's worked specifically on countering someone with a knife or a gun or a fist at close ranges. Uh, once you've worked on that type of stuff, it no longer becomes a 21 foot rule. It becomes uh, you're gonna lose a knife fight if the other guy brings a gun. That's all it is or don't bring a knife to a gunfight. That's what they often say. And while the 21 foot rule guys, uh, let me not say guys, that's a little too kind. While the 21 foot rule idiots uh, seem to think that that's not the way it is, reality is is that if you train, uh, when you bring a knife to a gunfight, you're always gonna lose. As long as the guy with the gun has trained. He's not one of these idiots just standing on a static line, shooting at static targets one shot at a time and thinking that now he's ready to have a fight. You have to be able to fight whether you have a gun, a knife, a stick, or your bare hands. You have to, it's still a fight. There's going to be movement. There's going to be people coming at you. It's not going to be you're standing static in your isosceles and the target is standing static waiting for you to shoot it. It's just it's not reality, guys. Go get ready for a zombie attack. <laughs> I have so much fun. Okay, so anyways, uh, we'll see you next time. Where we'll start working on advanced intervals. And we'll talk about the knife high ready.